Hello class, welcome to test 2 review for math 0028. This is going to be the first part. Um, the first, there are this time 40 questions. The first one is going to be just like on the homework, where it gives you a bunch of points and it asks you to say which quadrant that it's in, or if it's on the x-axis or the origin. So the origin is, if you get 0, 0, you're going to put origin. If both x and y are positive, so you have plus, comma, plus, it's going to be in uh, quadrant 1. Quadrant 2 is if you have a negative, comma, plus, positive, it's going to be in quadrant 3. If both are negative, it's going to be in quadrant 4 if the x is positive and the y is negative. It's going to be on the x-axis if you have a number, comma, zero. And it's going to be on the y-axis if you have a zero, comma, number. Next, you're going to be given a graph. And you have to plot the points. So let's say that you have... Um, Let's say that it starts with 0, 1 or 0, negative 1, 5, 0, negative 5, negative 5, and negative 1, negative 5. So 0, negative 1, we're just going to go down 1. With that point, 5 comma 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it's going to be there. Negative 5 comma negative 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it's going to go down, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So negative 5 comma negative 5, and negative 1 comma negative 5 would be right here. Then you're going to be given 1 where you have the graph. This time it's going to show you the points. So, two, three, four, A, two, three, four, B, C, and D. So A, we went back one, so it's going to be negative one, comma, up one, two, three, four. This is negative one, comma, four. B, we went back one, so negative one, comma, down four, so negative four. For C, we went to the right, two, comma, negative one. And for D, we went over four and up four. So four comma four. Next, you're going to be given a um, an equation of a line. Let's say we have negative two x plus one y equals seven, and it's going to ask you if certain points are solutions. So what you're going to do there is just substitute the two values in. So let's say that they give negative 3, comma, 1. And so you're going to put a negative 3 in for x. So negative 2 times negative 3 plus 1. y here is 1 equals 7. We just want to see if this is right. Negative 2 times negative 3 is 6 plus 1 equals 7, so that would be a yes. If we have as our point 1 comma 10, we would have negative 2 times 1 plus 1 times 10 equals 7. Negative 2 plus 10, does that equal 7? 
no is eight does not equal seven. So this is no. Next, let's say that the point they give is five comma 17. We'll put a five in for X. So negative two times five plus one times 17. Does that equal seven? We have negative two times five, which is negative 10 plus 17. And negative 10 plus 17 equals seven. Seven equals seven. So yes, that one is a point as well. Next, you're going to be given part of an ordered pair and to see if it fits in the lit or see what the other half is. So let's say that we're given 4x equals 2y plus 9. And it starts out where we're given negative 4 comma something and then something comma 15 over 2 and then 11 comma something. So what we're going to do is substitute in what we have and the first one we have we're given x so we're going to put negative 4 in for x. 4 times negative 4 equals 2y plus 9. We're going to get negative 16 equals 2y plus 9. Subtract 9 from both sides. We're going to get a negative 25 equals 2y. Divide both sides by 2. y is negative 25 over 2. So on this one, we're going to have negative 25 over 2 as our answer. The next one, we're going to substitute 15 over 2 in for y. So we're going to have 4x equals 2 times 15 over 2 plus 9. 4x equals 2 divided by 2 is 2, or is 1. 1 times 15 is 15 plus 9. So we have 4x equals 15 plus 9 is 24. Divide both sides by 4, so x equals 6. Last, we're given that x is 11. So we're going to put that in. 4 times 11 equals 2y plus 9. We're going to have 44 equals 2y plus 9. Subtract the 9. 2y is 35. Divide both sides by 2. y is 35 over 2. So for our answer, we're going to type in 35 over 2. Okay, after that, we're going to be given the um, same type of thing, but we have to decide what numbers to put in. Say we have 3x minus 2y equals negative 2. And it says to do integer solutions, and we need to do three of them. So the easiest one to do here, we see we have a 2 here and a 2 here. So if we just substitute numbers in for x so that we get an even number, we'll be able to get that. So I'm going to put a 0 in for x. I'm also going to put a 2 in for x and a negative 2 because that's going to be easy numbers to deal with. If we put a, two, a 0 in for x, we're going to be left with negative 2y equals negative 2. Negative 2 divided by negative 2 is 1. If we put a 2 in for x, we're going to have 3 times 2 minus 2y equals 
negative 2. 6 minus 2y is negative 2. Subtract the 6. Negative 2y is negative 8. So y will equal 4. And then if I put a negative 2 in for y, or for x, 3 times a negative 2 minus 2y is negative 2. We can get negative 6 minus 2y is negative 2. Add the 6 to both sides now. Negative 2y equals 4, so y will equal negative 2. Look for numbers to put in so that you can get um, probably an even number here. Uh, the ones I did, these are what worked out by substituting in for x. You may need to substitute something else in. If you substitute a 0 for y though, you'll get a negative 2 over 3. And it does want you to have integers. So make sure that you look at that. Uh, the next part of that question is to graph it. So you're just going to put two of these points in, and I'm going to do the 0, 1. I'm going to put the 2, 4, so 1, 2, 3, 4. And I'm also going to put the negative 2, negative 2, just to show you. If we do this, and if I do it correctly, all three of these line up so you know that you got all three of them right it's good since it's on graph paper or uh, on the computer it'll be a lot easier to do so now we're going to find four ordered pair solutions by completing the table it's going to be the same type of thing um, it's going to give you that y equals negative 3x plus 4 and it's going to give you a column for x then it's going to say 0, 1, 5, negative 23 so it's going to give you a table like this and you substitute in whatever you have so on this one we put in a 0 for x and we're going to be left with y equals negative 3 times 0 which is 0 plus 4 so the answer here would be 4. If we put a y in for 1 we have 1 equals negative 3x plus 4 subtract the 4 and you have negative 3 equals negative 3x negative 3 divided by negative 3 is 1 so the answer here would be 1 then if we put a 5 in for x y equals negative 3 times 5 plus 4 y will equal negative 15 plus 4 negative 15 plus 4 is negative 11 and last if we put a negative 23 in for y negative 23 equals negative 3x plus 4 subtract the 4 from both sides we're going to get negative 27 equals negative 3x divide both sides by negative 3 and x is 9 so those would be what our substitutions would be there the next question it's going to be the same type of thing that we've seen in the homework. Here it says that Lauren is collecting coins, um, or Meredith is collecting coins. She has two coins in her collection to start with and plans to add two per week. Two to start, add two per week, and we have to make a table. So it starts X and Y, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So if she starts with 2, what we're going to put in here is a 2. And we're going to add 2 per week. So we're just going to add 2 every time. 4, 6, 
8, 10, and 12. Then we're going to graph that and we're going to start with 2 at week 1, we're going to have 4 at week 2, 6 at week 3, 8 at week 4, 10, and at week 5, 12, and we graph that way. Next, we're going to graph some linear equations by plotting points. Let's say that we're given y equals negative 6. They give us the x, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. We need to fill in y, and we also need to put what the ordered pair is. So, we have just y equals negative 6, so it doesn't matter what x is, it's always going to be negative 6 is y, because that's what they give us. Ordered pair, negative 2 comma negative 6, negative 1 comma negative 6, 0 comma negative 6, 1 comma negative 6, and 2 comma negative 6. To graph this, it's going to be a horizontal line at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, at negative 6. So y is negative 6, you're just going to put, pick two points to put in there. And that's where the line will be. I believe you only need to pick two of them and 